panel to discuss the week in politics. We're joined tonight by the Finance Minister Penny Wong, who is in our Adelaide studio, and Greg Hunt, the opposition spokesman on climate action and the environment, who's in Melbourne. I spoke to them a short time ago. Penny Wong and Greg Hunt, many thanks for joining Late Line tonight. Good to be with Good you. Good evening. Penny Wong, three issues the Prime Minister earmarked for her urgent attention uh, pretty much this day a year ago when Kevin Rudd was dumped and she took over. Asylum seekers, the mining tax and a carbon price, none of which is finally resolved and the polls are worse than they were 12 months ago. Do you think Labor is better off? Oh, look, obviously, uh, there are some pretty tough reforms that the Prime Minister is tackling. Uh, you know, she, uh, she said... Uh, quite clearly uh, to the Australian people, we need a price on carbon and she's doing the work that's required to, de to deliver that. Uh, this is a tough reform and she's just the woman to deliver it. Uh, we know that this is uh, a difficult time for us because this is a tough reform. Uh, we know we will continue to get the negativity, the scaremongering of Tony Abbott. Uh, we know he will continue to oppose everything, but we're very focused uh, on the future and very focused on doing what's right for the nation, uh, rolling out the national broadband network, delivering our budget, uh, including uh, an investment in skills uh, and, of course, uh, delivering the price on carbon. These were all reforms, though, of course, that Kevin Rudd was also tackling. My question was, do you think Labor is actually better off 12 months down the track? Well, I can tell you what I think about Julia Gillard, and Julia is hardworking, intelligent and competent. Uh, and she is an extremely determined person, and she's determined to do the right thing by the country. It would be very easy at the moment uh, for someone to say, look, this is all too hard. I've got an opposition leader who's just going to be negative no matter what. He'll oppose everything. He'll run a scare campaign. Uh, I've got a reform that is a tough reform. Uh, but Julia is pressing ahead with it, and she's working uh, to ensure sure that we put a price on carbon and tackle climate change. Uh, we've delivered uh, the uh, major steps in, in, in rolling out the national broadband network and of course we've delivered a budget which what I'd say to you is has uh, the mark of Julia Gillard on it. Three billion dollar investment in skills and participation uh, as you know something very dear to her heart education. Greg Hunt, let's take this then from the other perspective. The government did announce yesterday a deal on the NBN, front page of pretty much all the newspapers. The other issues, if they are on the way to being resolved, uh, the NBN may prove just to be the first of those policy areas to be ticked off the list. If the government can stop the boats, put a price on carbon, where does the coalition go? Well, unfortunately for the government and much more unfortunately for the country, uh, asylum seekers, the mining tax, climate change, three strikes and in the Australian public's view three strikes and the Prime Minister is out. Uh, on each of those three elements it's absolutely clear the mining tax, the controversy is now getting worse rather than better. Uh, asylum seekers, uh, we have had a, a continual and catastrophic uh, failure with the boats continuing, the East Timor se uh, proposal uh, from July of last year collapsing, the Papua New Guinea proposal uh, looking close to collapse and Malaysia uh, virtually two months on uh, being a complete debacle. Um, thirdly, uh, in terms of the, uh, the climate change policy, the Prime Minister's pledge was uh, not just there will be no carbon tax under the government I lead, but it was also that she would not take this step until such time as there was a deep and lasting consensus. Both of those were, uh, I'm sorry to say, a fraud on the Australian people and the Australian people have voted no. It, with regards to the uh, NBN, what we saw yesterday was a deal uh, which will ban Telstra from advertising uh, at fast uh, mobile broadband in competition with the National Broadband, Net broadband Network for 20 years. That is something that the East Germans wouldn't have even dreamt of. Penny Wong? Well, I mean, where, where should I start? I mean, we have an opposition at the moment led by an opposition leader who is a very good opposition leader. He's very good at opposing. 
not very good at leading and I think uh, people like Greg Hunt who've li who line up behind him are, are really doing more of the same. I mean, what, Greg Hunt is the man who used to believe that a price on carbon was the right thing. He believed it uh, when he wrote his thesis. He believed it uh, when Malcolm Turnbull was leader. He's believed it all his life. But now Tony Abbott says, no, we don't want a price on carbon. We want a different approach, an approach that really is because uh, I don't believe climate change is real. And, and Greg Hunt is lining up behind it. All but right. just look, uh, on Ali, the I'd national like broadband to take on the national just let Greg Hunt come in on what you just have said. Uh, my life's work, uh, Senator Wong, has been in determining the difference between good and bad market mechanisms. A good market mechanism will provide incentives. A bad market mechanism will drive up the cost of electricity, petrol, Greg, gas, you and don't groceries. Have a market and mechanism. what you've got now. What you've Greg, got you now don't have a market is mechanism. Is a bad market you, mechanism. Oh, which I'm going to jump in here because I don't want this to be a debate about market me mechanisms and how best to put a price <laughs> on carbon. So, Greg Hunt, to you, this question of where the coalition goes next. I mean, even News Limited, which is generally sympathetic to your side of politics, wrote an editorial this week saying that Tony Abbott has to get past the carbon tax, past the boats, and start developing some long-term policy on social issues and, and health, for example. Does he? Is he running a long-term campaign? Well, his task is twofold, and he is doing it. The first is uh, uh, to hold the government to account on these terrible failures in terms of whether it's the budget, the mining tax, uh, the carbon tax or asylum seekers. And secondly, to give Australians the alternative vision as an alternative Prime Minister. Uh, and let me make this absolutely clear. Well, we stand I've got for a lower for taxes you, and they stand for higher taxes. We stand for incentives to take people away from welfare and into work and we stand for less regulation and uh, rather than more regulation and these are all of the principles which Tony is setting out and on which there will be more detail as early as tomorrow. So, so as early as tomorrow, what can we well, expect well, tomorrow? Do you acknowledge that there is a lack of detail on policies other than, than boats at the moment? Uh, no, I uh, don't accept that. Um, we have set out a very clear, uh, detailed uh, uh, climate policy in relation to emissions reduction, a very clear policy in relation to uh, welfare to, uh, to work, a very clear policy in relation to Indigenous development and similarly uh, an exceptionally clear policy in relation to uh, ending the flow of uh, people smugglers. Oh, all right. Penny Wong, you want to jump in there? Well, 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 yes, I do. I mean, well, where are, are these clear policies? We're all still looking for them. Uh, Greg says uh, that Tony Abbott's going to announce lower taxes tomorrow. Well, lower taxes will hit the budget. Uh, if he's serious about that as a policy, then presumably what he will put forward is how he's going to fund it, because that's, that's what gives it reality. Otherwise, it's just words. And so far, that's what we've seen. But the interesting question is this, isn't it? Uh, uh, what would Tony Abbott be talking about if he were, weren't running around uh, engaging in stunts against the carbon price? What would he be doing? I mean, that is all he has been doing for months now, is running around engaging in a campaign against the carbon price, uh, not founded on facts, founded on things which are false, uh, running into supermarkets and grocery stores and telling people, oh, this, this is going to Australians, be dreadful. Talking with ordinary Australians, meeting with no, working no, Australians. No, 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 it, no. Look, uh, you know, it, it that isn't is what about he is that, doing. Greg, and you know it. I mean, the, 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 the opposition's approach, I think, is Australians. demonstrated by Joe Hockey, the shadow treasurer, in the week we're debating the budget bills, is running around with a cutout of a former prime minister and uh, taking photos of it and tweeting. Well, I mean, look, that this, is the opposition's this, approach. Right. This, way, this, gets to to my next, this gets to my next point, which is about the quality of debate. But before we actually get to that broader issue, Greg Hunt, let me ask you about those two specific questions. First of all, how was Tony Abbott's proposal to have a plebiscite on the carbon tax anything but a stunt, given it was raised on Monday, dead on Tuesday? And Joe Hockey carrying a cardboard cutout of Kevin right around Canberra and then popping the photos on Twitter. Doesn't he or his staff have better things to do? All right, the, the first thing in relation to the plebiscite... Uh, the best thing that could happen here is for Senator Wong tonight uh, to guarantee that the government will announce the details of the carbon tax before Parliament begins uh, in a week's time and so as Australians can debate it uh, and then we can have a real uh, debate around their Greg, figures. Tony, let me, Tony let said me finish, he Senator Wong. The second thing, just, let Greg, just let Greg Hunt the, finish on the that. Second, uh, <laughs> the second thing is, having announced the details, 
let the people decide. But, but the That's point, a simple opportunity. The senator's and let point the people on decide the plebiscite. Either through an election or a plebiscite. Well, the plebiscite point that uh, Penny Wong was just making is indeed correct. Tony Abbott hardly looked committed to it when he said himself he wouldn't be tied to the outcome. Look, we're not going to uh, uh, preempt the outcome. We're not going to countenance defeat. Uh, we think the Australian people should be allowed to decide. And the test for Senator Wong this evening is commit to giving the detail of the electricity, the petrol, the gas, the grocery price rises before Parliament resumes in a week's time. We can debate those details and uh, anything less would be to deny the people the avenue through the Parliament to debate the details and then let the people decide right. through a vote. Joe Hockey and the cardboard cutouts, nothing better to do? No, it's a very clear way of making a simple point that a year ago the now Prime Minister effectively politically assassinated Kevin Rudd uh, and things have gone from bad to worse. Things have gone from bad to worse since Kevin Rudd lost his job and the Australian people know it and so does the Labor Party. Penny Wong, will we get the detail we of a carbon tax before Parliament comes back in a week's time? Uh, look, we, we have said we're working through the detail uh, and we will be announcing it if, uh, uh, you know, in due course. Uh, and the Prime Minister said, said, uh, said that she wants to do that around the middle of the year. And we're obviously in uh, pretty uh, clear uh, negotiations and discussions with members of Parliament. But can I, can I say, uh, I think Greg's response tonight uh, in relation to Mr Hockey and Tony Abbott really show the problem with the opposition. Uh, they, are, they are all about stunts. They're all about how they might get on the news that night. They're nothing about Australia's future and nothing about any policy uh, that is about meeting the challenges of that future. Well, in terms of quality of, of parliamentary debate, uh, a point that was made by the Prime Minister this week in a speech, she said, our policy debates are getting more political, our political debates are getting more partisan, our partisan debates are getting more personal. Penny Wong, do you agree and can you elaborate? Oh, look, I thought that was a very powerful uh, comment uh, in that speech to the Business Council that the Prime Minister gave. And, uh, and she was making the very important point that we are at a, a very uh, critical time in terms of where we want to go as a nation. Uh, we are seeing uh, major changes in the global economy. Uh, we are seeing uh, major changes in our own economy. And, of course, we have the challenge of climate change. And we're not getting uh, we the debate that we deserve? Oh, I think that's true. We need we need to have a better debate. I mean, if, if the thing about Tony Abbott, which I, I think is but you're being partisan now. I'm asking you about. I'm asking no, no, you about no, the no, board no, debate. But no, I was, I was actually going to make a, a different point. I, I'm making a point that there are times in politics, I think, where uh, people need to uh, make a decision not to uh, go for the political point, uh, but to think about the national interest point. I don't know that Tony Abbott is actually capable of that. Uh, I think there are some people in the Liberal Party who have been prepared to do that. And, and as you will recall, I did sit down with Malcolm Turnbull uh, for some weeks, uh, and I think both of us were trying to do that. Uh, what is, I think, uh, uh, distressing at the moment and disappointing to the Australian people is that there are a lot of things we should be dealing with, uh, but uh, the political debate, as the Prime Minister said, has become so partisan and so personal. Greg Hunt, uh, I'd be very and happy. Obviously, both sides of the House take responsibility yeah. for that. Greg Hunt? Uh, no. Uh, I, I will let uh, Senator Wong reflect, I think, carefully on her own comments about partisan personal debate. She can reflect on those. But let me say this, uh, that... Uh, People expect a robust debate, but they want to be able to have a government that will announce detail and facts because we've had a PNG deal announced uh, on asylum seekers, an East Timor deal which well, we knew from the outset was Greg, do you not was, think that, uh, that was people deserve incapable. an opposition? No, Senator, that let him finish, please. Uh, Greg, can't finish. Uh, we've had a, an East Timor deal which was announced uh, which uh, never came to fruition. And what we've had now is four months, four months of carbon tax uh, announcements by the government without any detail in terms of serious debate, discussion, the opportunity for the nation, the challenges before the government and the finance minister to the, uh, tonight. All right. Give the street people the chance to debate the real details before Parliament resumes. All right.